Hello, welcome back to my channel. For my new viewers, I'm Teacher Val. And for my return service, thank you, thank you very much for your support. Especially in the comment section, you've really been so helpful by coming up with different topics that uh, I need to talk about. Thank you. And also for supporting my content in the comment section. Thank you very much. Thanks for your likes. Thank you for your subscription. I don't take this for granted. For my new viewers, I'd urge you to subscribe to this um, channel. It is an education educative channel where we talk about our children development. And also, yes, hit the notification bell. So each time a new video is uploaded, you are the first person to receive it. Good. In my last video, we had a chat about homework. Yes, thank you very much for the feedback. And today we are going to talk about special needs. Yes, special needs children. And who are the special needs children? Special needs children, it doesn't mean that uh, they are not children like any other child. They're just children like any other student. It's only that we only need to understand that they are differently gifted and how we help them this is what we are going to discuss today i've listed down a few uh, learning disabilities and um, one of the learning disability is dyslexia which most of us uh, like tend not to understand and children who are dyslexic they have problems with uh, letter reversals they also have they are slow readers they also have problem in writing you know and uh, they also have problem in copying written uh, like things especially copying from a book to their book or from the whiteboard or blackboard they have problem with that they also a little bit they are very forgetful yeah they are forgetful they tend to forget and they also have delayed language development so all these are some of the signs that this child might be suffering from dyslexia we also have ch other children who have issues with uh, concentration they cannot sit still they are very intelligent but they get attracted to different things in the environment uh, they really really get distracted during especially uh, a session maybe they are learning in a class or something or even at home you get that they cannot sit still they are sitting here the other minute they have moved to something else and, and other children have the problem with social skills yes social skills is another problem that uh, might be or these children are affected in you find that um, a child is comfortable or not comfortable in like playing in large groups they want to play alone most of the time they would be sitting or concentrating on their own activities even if there are other children in the environment you find that they don't get involved with them they're just playing alone so they are very comfortable having their own games they're also having difficulties of maybe joining a game that an ongoing ga game they cannot excuse themselves and join the game or they cannot just come and sit and join the game they'll be playing alongside those other children also some uh, children uh, in our environment especially in our learning environment uh, these children have um, a problem with their fine motor skills they really really have issues especially during coloring activities when you give them maybe a writing material or painting or yeah any activity they'll have issues on how they hold them because their fine motor skills have not developed also some have a problem with their gross motor skills especially walking or jumping you know you find that a child cannot jump on both feet or cannot balance on one foot or a child cannot throw a ball or catch a ball or a child cannot kick even running so all these children are in our environment and we need to appreciate them like that so and uh how do we do that 
how do we appreciate our children today i've uh, listed a few things that we are going to discuss about the first thing on how to help these children is to include them in our activities and inclusion just simply means like understanding that children have a right to actively participate in general education setting and to be valued as members of a community. They should, this inclusion should be socially and academically. And how socially? We should understand that these children should belong and be valued as persons. And also in academics, we should support them to succeed in their learning. I know it uh, is a challenge, especially to work with children who have low concentration span, who are easily distracted, but there are different activities as an adult that you can do to help this child. This child needs to be given, uh, like you have a set of activities that you have arranged especially for teachers if you're in a class with such a child have activities of interest some children like this sense you'll find that they will love coloring they will love building blocks others will love uh, things like puzzles so after you have understood your child come up with an IAP uh, individualized like uh, education plan look at the like the child how what does the child want what are the interests then come up with different activities after the child is done with this then they can move on to another activity so easily if you do this every day you find that you're going to help this child like improve in their concentration span so don't give up on such children try every time especially if it's a teacher you're in a class help this child when you're working make sure that this child is always sitting next to you so that you are able to observe the child so that you are able to tell when they are you know when they have been distracted so that you can change an activity for them yes and also um another thing we also need to understand is that um children who have their they have their processing speed is a little bit low we also need to take them like that so especially don't involve them in group activity if you involve such a child in group activity you will find that they'll be left behind because if for example you're discussing something or you're introducing a concept and you've done it as a group you find that those children who are able to answer the question so fast will be moving faster than this other one who, uh, who has a uh, problem with processing. So make sure that you introduce uh, concepts to them, especially as an individual. Work with such children as individuals by themselves, introduce a concept when they are alone. So that if you want to review the concept, then again now you can do it when they are other, with other children and make sure you keep prompting this child, especially uh, when you're asking questions. Make sure that you prompt them uh, each and every time while you're doing an activity in class. Also, uh, children who have uh, issues maybe with uh, processing of information, you don't give them so many instructions. If you are giving an instruction, let it be short and precise so that the child can have time to process and give an answer. After they have given this answer, then you can move on to the next uh, question or another activity. And also, uh, as we have talked about uh, children with dyslexia, they have a problem in writing. They would uh, reverse letters. So kindly uh, be patient with them. Keep helping them. Like every, each time they would reverse, uh, make sure that you show them how they are writing the numbers with a lot of love, with a lot of patience, because uh, it is not their own liking that they are doing it like that. So uh, what we can do as uh, teachers or as a school, we only need to support these children by amending our day-to-day -day practices in favor of differently abled children the moment a teacher understands the children that they have in class you are going to amend your ways you are going to change how you teach the approaches that you use are going to be different 
if you've been working even should some children have a problem with their like their sight as a teacher in class you have to make sure that you understand that all the senses of a child are working so that you are able to work with this child like peacefully so that the child can also enjoy the lesson some children are not able maybe uh, they, are, they have issues with their vision kindly make sure that you detect that so that you don't keep writing things on the whiteboard or the blackboard and this child is struggling or you can either move the child closer to the whiteboard or you can be giving a written material so that they can copy it directly from where they are seated so there are different ways on how we can improve our lessons so that we can take care of the needs of children uh, with uh, special needs and these children especially with special need what i would encourage the teachers to do is to make sure that they work with them individually if you give them an individual attention i promise you they are going to improve but if you overlook all this and just decide to move on with those children who are like um who are moving at the speed that you expect then these other children will uh be at a loss in such a class and uh when we talk of disabilities disabilities are like divided into two we have the medical model of disability and we have also the social model of disability today i'm just going to talk about the social model of, of uh, disability which is caused by the way society is organized yes uh, rather than by a uh, person's impairment or difference the social model of disability uh, looks for solutions to remove barriers and restrict life choices of disabled people make sure that you make the environment suitable you find that most children uh, will be termed disabled just depending on the environment yeah so make sure that you make the environment conducive so that these children with learning disabilities are able to access learning like any other child yes most disabilities might not be medical others would be just uh, the social like the way the environment has been set up or where the the child was brought up some children have delayed speech simply because maybe when they were growing up someone did not engage them in conversation they were just put there put in in front of a uh, sorry a tv laptop or some computer and then now this child didn't have anyone to engage them in conversations yeah and also as as well as the social skills the child is always alone they don't know how to play they cannot share they cannot take turns because every time they were just given maybe an opportunity it's like them they always come first so they don't know that there are other people they need to give other people turns so environment also contributes a lot on how our children develop so yes let's just uh, make sure that as teachers and as adults look at the environment we are bringing up our children whether is it contributing to the learning disabilities of our children yeah so let's respect uh, uniqueness we are all unique and yeah we should work together to make that these children learn thank you very much for watching this video if you find this content helpful kindly share it uh, with uh, your friends the, yeah it might so it might also help them thank you very much see you in my next video bye bye